Brooke here. So today I'm leaving on my silent meditation retreat for 10 days, my first ever retreat like this, and I'm very excited for it. No idea what to expect. I'm kind of keeping my expectations low, right? Um, I need to grab the last chance to have coffee for 10 days. Anyway, I wanted to just shoot this little video as I'm packing and kind of show you what I'm bringing on the retreat as I go. So I have everything out here. I'm using my backpacking backpack to fit everything in there. So um, first I'm going to start with my clothes since those will be at the bottom, um, figure the bedding stuff up at the top. So when I get there, you know, set up the bedding first, clothes last, and then I have all my toiletries. So to get started, um, the dress code there is basically loose, comfortable clothing. Nothing tight or revealing is allowed. If you do wear leggings, you have to have um, a dress or a really long t-shirt or something on on top of it. And it's just, you know, so there's as little distractions as possible. So this includes also no graphic tees, you know, nothing with words, nothing to distract people as they're meditating and going about their day. So, um, and this is for 10 days and I can only hand wash in a sink. So I'm trying to I spent some time to figure out what I'm going to bring that fits in the dress code and also things that I can wear over and over again and just having certain amounts of different layers available to me because I'm planning on not having to hand wash if possible. So with that, so first we have a sweater, I probably should roll this up better, just long comfortable sweater to put on top. The weather. Who knows what it'll be. Um, it can be, we're still in that, you know, the stage between winter and spring. So weather can be cold, the weather can be warm. And, you know, we start our days at 4.30 in the morning is when we do our first meditation. So we need to prepare, you know, to be nice and cozy in the morning. So I have another, switch how I'm sitting. Another comfy sweater here, and everything's gonna be wrinkled, but you know, who cares? It's so, I'm really looking forward to uh, leaving the mind behind. I know it'll be kind of hard in the beginning, and the mind will go crazy. I've heard um, there's talking about the course a little bit and saying that the first four days can be the hardest, and then after the fourth day, it's easier to leave the mind and settle in this experience but you know you're meditating for about 10 hours a day so it's crazy I'm really looking forward to it I have no idea <laughs> who I'll be at the end of this time um, just have a basic flannel really comfy I love to wear this thing got in a clothing swap it's awesome And so that's it for the long sleeve. I'm going to be bringing this to, I think. Oh, and I'll probably be wearing this today to the retreat. Just kind of my thin poncho. And next we have t-shirts. So I just have a really baggy long sleeve or short sleeve. Roll them up. You're not supposed to wear tank tops, but I'm just, you know, going to wear this. Um, and I have two more just for undershirts. And I don't really have many short sleeve, loose t-shirts. Here's another one. And then I bought this really long tee. And then I cut off the neckline and basically all the hands to make it more relaxed. 
be wearing that long tee with a pair of leggings. And let's see here. So I have another pair of loose pants I'll be wearing. So I have three pants in total I'll be bringing to wear and I'm wearing the third pair that I recently got for this trip and I'm in love with them. I just wanna wear them all the time. I'm totally that type of personality where like I'll buy new clothing and I don't do it too often or when I buy stuff it's um, a couple pieces here and there but I get really into what I'm wearing and I just want to wear it nonstop until I get something else. So luckily I can wear these almost every day here. A small pair of shorts just to wear as I'm sleeping at night, throw in the tank tops, already got underwear in there, and then just packing three pairs of socks. I'm not really a sock person all the time, so I'm not going to be wearing them every day. And I bought slippers to wear inside. And then for hats, I just brought a warm hat, and then I have my knitted headband that I made back in winter. So that is it for my clothing pretty much. So next up we have our toiletries and my alarm clock which I was trying to trying to use. Oh okay. I need to test it out. So, because we're um, waking up at, so we, so basically we have to check in our phones on that first day, so we can't use our phones in the alarm clock, so I bought this little travel one, and I'm going to be setting it for 4 a.m. every morning, um, but I need to make sure the alarm works, so that'll probably go off in a minute, hopefully. Next up, I have toiletries, so it's just basically, you know, shampoo conditioner, Castile soap, I got vitamins in here, some allergy pills if I need them, um, face wash, inhaler just in case, hand sanitizer, deodorant, little hairbrush, so happy my hair is short, so, oh, where's the alarm clock? So that works. Um, real quick, let us set it for 4 a.m. So I wear contacts. I have pretty nearsighted eyesight, like the big E at the eye doctor. It's always blurry. So I'm going to plan. I brought some contacts along anyway, um, but my goal is to not wear my contacts and probably not wear my glasses after the first day after I kind of get the lay of the land and where I'm going and just be in my blurry vision. I think it'll help actually <clears throat> getting out of my mind and not to be distracted with any surroundings by having a blurry world around me. So. And then I have some like face oil in here, some sunscreen, things like that in my Golden Girls travel bag that my friend Erin gave me long ago. I love it. And yes, I have contacts, tampons, and then toothbrush and toothpaste. And yes, Ziplocs are not great, but I've had these in my cupboard for years and these are the last two I have. So I figure, you know, 
what's even more wasteful is to throw out the plastic before I ever use it. So I'll use these as long as possible. And then I'm going to be buying the um, like cloth Ziploc bags in the future. Um, so shove this stuff in there. Yeah, so it'll be really great to just like get out of the mind, get out of the daily groove, not really care about every morning like what I look like, what I'm wearing, all of that, you know. Just a vacation from the mind. Everyone needs it in this busy world, I feel. You might not need it for 10 days. It might be crazy for you. Um, but for me, I'm just looking forward to not having to talk at all. Because uh, it can be hard on my introverted self. Um, I have this shawl. I figure I could use it kind of as a meditation blanket at times everything shoved in so everything is not going to fit i'll have to put some stuff on the outside of the backpack i have a me another meditation blanket um i'll probably be using that a lot in that early morning meditation how to bring pillowcase this is a sheet we only have king size sheets and i'm sleeping on a twin so this is a lot of sheet and then have my sleeping bag two washcloths right here hand towel and then a regular size towel and that is everything i'm taking with me i'm going to be getting it i think i'm going to buy an umbrella because it might rain and i hear we can walk around the grounds in between sessions during the day so i figured Part of me was like, maybe I should just wear my raincoat, which I might still do. We'll see. Anyway, that is about it. Um, I'm going to finagle all this other stuff and strap it to the back of my pack off camera because it might take me a little while and lots of noise. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little get ready packing for a meditation retreat with me and yeah i will see you after i get back i'm hoping to take another video talking about how this experience was for me um highs and lows all of that stuff because i know some of you are interested for yourself or maybe you know you're not interested in doing this but you're curious how the experience was so yeah, I'll be back later. Um, also, just FYI, when I'm gone, I still have the candle shop open. And I decided to do a 22% discount if you use code SILENCE at checkout. And it's just really just a little thank you for anyone who orders for their patients in their candle not shipping for over two weeks. Um, candles will ship out on Monday the 23rd at the earliest and yeah so if you are interested in a candle between now and then you can just visit the link in the profile and otherwise yeah I will see you in a couple weeks have a great one